Well, Mr. Floyd's death sparked protest, of course, all around the globe, including several protests here in Scotland. In spite of the pandemic, thousands gathered in parks and town centres to raise their fists and make their voices heard. Among the leaders of those demonstrations were Cynthia Gentle and Stuart Kira Samiri. Our reporter, India Grant, has been speaking to them about whether the verdict in George Floyd's murder trial will make a difference. Last year, after the killing of George Floyd, Black Lives Matter protests took place across Scotland. After Derek Chauvin's guilty verdict, I sat down with two Scottish activists to hear their reaction. Relief and a sense of hope and encouragement for the future. My initial reaction was, um, I was very pleased. You know, I was, I didn't think I would be as emotional as I was. I felt like I could breathe. I can't imagine what it what it's like for George Floyd's family, but they have um, some closure now, which is which is good. However, um, this is this is the beginning. This is the, the start of some hopefully some form of of change. Why do you think this crime, which happened so far away, really resonated within Scotland? It's resonated with with black people because now they have a voice and now they have a now they have a platform and people are listening. You know, because unfortunately there is racism in Scotland. It's, you know, I, I, I love living here. I think it's a beautiful country. However, there are people that, you know, see us as second, third, fourth class citizens, you know, and it's, it's a shame. It's about accountability over black lives and how black people are treated. You know, we can't even begin to ask for racial justice or fight for it if people are not held to account. So this was a step in the right direction. It's not the finishing line, it's just the beginning, like almost the starting line. It feels as if now the work begins. The amount of people that, that have come out and spoke and spoke up, and it's not even it's not even just black people, it's it's anti-racist as well. It's it's all, all all skin tones and including including white white people, you know. So a lot of people are now fighting with us, you know, um, alongside us and speaking up and not taking no for an answer. What would be the legacy moving forward from this? For the last year, we have actually been doing the work, calling out organisations that are just performative and are just. Uh, acting like they want to change. So we're not looking for performative responses from society. We're looking for real change, for people to deliver on the changes they made to us a year ago. George Floyd's death still ripples today, with many hoping it will lead to change. India Grant, BBC News.